Vashanti Regional Financial Secretary of Ghana Union Traders Association, Maxwell Bamfo, enumerated challenges faced by traders in transporting goods on the Accra Kumasi Road. During a press conference in Kumasi, he noted the regional and national tax forces duplicate their operations, compounding the difficulties faced by traders. We were coming to force of the paper system. We, we all heard the Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Ubaouya, telling the whole world of the removal of the custom barriers across the country. However, in the case of Ashanti region, the reverse has been the case. Since last year till now, there has been constant harassment and intimidations on the Accra Kumasi and Takwari Kumasi route. On the Accra Kumasi route, one has to contend with the Bunsu and Kubasi barriers. Beyond these two, there are now what they call the regional and national task force, all operating in a duplicative manner. The same applies to the Takwari Kumasi route beyond the Alian Banta barrier. Goods with duties duly paid and cleared at the port are many a time arrested by the task forces of custom, leading to extortions, delays, re-examination, which result to heavy penalties slapped on owners of the goods. Mr. Bamfo explained that confiscated containers are frequently taken to the Abuabu Yard of Customs where owners are compelled to offload and reload at their own expense. This incurs significant financial losses for traders. In many cases, said containers are taken to the Abuabu Yard of the Customs where owners are made to offload and reload at their own expenses. This has led to losses of several cities to the owners in memory, transportation, offloading, reloading costs, and penalties of 300%. This has led to collapse of several businesses and relocation of others out of the region. What is worrisome is the fact that we pay the same duties as our counterparts in other parts of Ghana. Ashanti Regional Chairman of the Association, Antonio Pong, said if the government does not intervene within two weeks, a mass protest will be staged in the region. We are saying that me in my position as a third national president of Guta, I communicated I communicate with all my counterparts in the regions. Nothing of this sort is going on in other regions. So why only Ashanti region? So we think it's a deliberate policy or a deliberate agenda by some people to collect businesses in the Ashanti region. That's why we are calling them to, we are giving them two weeks of meeting to ensure that this harassment stops. Else we are going to call for the closure of all shops in the Ashanti region for two weeks. After that, if you don't hear from the government, we are going to organize a massive demonstration. We will enter into the heat on the streets and make sure the government hear from us. The association has reported the issue to all relevant authorities but received no response. Hence, the planned action to protect their businesses. We've engaged everybody who matters in this issue. Our regional minister, the assistant commissioner for the regions, the BNI director for the region, we contacted uh, the regional security coordinator, everybody who matters. We've gone all the way to a crowd to meet the commissioner of customs himself and to no avail. So the people think enough is enough. So now they are fed up. That's the reason why you see what we are seeing this morning. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.